everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add fringes on a scarf using a knitting machine. Another thing I'll be showing you is how to finish off the edge of a scarf. My scarf for example had quite a few marks from when I dried it and I'll be showing you the technique I've used to get rid of these marks. So this is how my edge used to look before and we need to admit that it doesn't look that great. The thing with scarves is that they are really easy to knit but quite often they can look unfinished because they stretch and they curl and we don't really want this to happen. I'm really excited to share this with you guys and I hope this video will help you knit beautiful and nicely finished scarves. Thanks for watching! The first thing you will have to do is to lay your work flat and measure the length and the width. Measure the distance on your knitting machine. I added a few extra centimeters because my scarf is really really stretchy. You will be catching the very last stitch on your edge. Attach the scarf on the knitting machine. Begin by catching the first and the last stitch. And then catch the stitch in the very middle of the scarf. And then again catch the middle and then the middle and then the middle of the middle. Just make sure the scarf is evenly attached on the machine. Don't worry if you're not catching every single stitch, you don't actually have to do that. The only thing we have to do now is to cast off the edge. Oh my god, imagine if we could actually cast off that fast. finishing casting of the first half, don't break the yarn, instead transfer the stitch on the other side of the machine. This way we will just have less ends to tie in in the end. The only thing left to do now is to attach the second half and cast it off. before and after. There's definitely a huge difference to our finish. Moving on to the fringes now. Measure the width of your scarf on the machine. Mine for example is 30 centimeters. Catch the last two stitches. Evenly attach the edge of the scarf on the machine. Prepare a lot of fringes, don't worry too much about their length at this point, just make sure they are long enough as they will be half this size. I'll be using 3 ends of yarn for every fringe, but of course you can use more or less depending on what you want to achieve. Tie them in a slip knot. Using the transfer tool, tighten them and attach them to each needle. You can then readjust them if needed.
the fringes. I would advise that you use two ends of yarn for this. and probably the most satisfying part is cutting the fridges to size. Using a brush just make sure they are nicely aligned. I have made mine 8 cm long. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you. I'm excited to share more videos like this in the future. Please leave any questions, suggestions or what would you like to watch in the comment section. My name is Elena and I'll see you next time.